Hello everyone, my name is Amol More and welcome to our channel Solution to Black Book. Now today one of our student has asked us this very interesting question. The question is cos inverse x minus cos inverse y by 2 is equal to alpha. And then there is given domain x lies between minus 1 to 1, there is a typo. Then y lies between minus 2 to 2 and x is less than or equal to y by 2. Well, you do not have to worry about that because the sum takes care of the domain. And also they have asked us 4x square minus 4xy cos alpha plus y square is equal to question mark. Now how to deal with such questions because such questions students generally find difficult. But I will say one thing. See the new thing over here is cos alpha and you have an alpha relation. So you just go with the flow and you are going to get the answer. So let me start and go with the flow. So the question starts with cos inverse x minus cos inverse y by 2 is equal to alpha. And in the question I needed cos alpha. So I will just take cos on both sides. So once I take cos on both sides this will be cos of cos inverse x minus cos inverse y by 2. These are the two angles by the way is equal to cos of alpha so simple right okay so uh, now how to proceed further i'll give you a very brief encounter about this call this as theta 1 call this as theta 2 okay so this will turn into cos theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to cos alpha that's it okay so just apply the formula cos theta 1 cos theta 2 plus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 is equal to cos alpha Okay, see, I'm just going with the flow. Now, theta 1 is cos inverse x. So, theta 1 is equal to cos inverse x. We can easily make the triangle. This is our triangle and this is our theta 1. Okay, so cos inverse x. It means that cos of theta 1 is equal to x. x means adjacent is x and hypotenuse is 1. So, this value will be 1 minus x square as everyone can know. It is very simple by Pythagoras I have found out this. Then theta 2 is equal to cos inverse y by 2. So let us make another triangle. Let us call this theta 2 again adjacent by hypotenuse y by 2 and 1 and this will be equal to 1 minus y square by 4. Again by Pythagoras I have calculated this. So simple. Now what is cos theta 1? cos theta 1 as you can say is x and what is cos theta 2 it is y by 2 as you can see over here it is just y by 2 so x into y by 2 is our initial expression x into y by 2 okay now let us see what is sin theta 1 opposite by hypotenuse so under root 1 minus x square by 1 it will be so plus under root 1 minus x square by 1 and then what is sin inverse sin theta 2 sin theta 2 again is opposite by hypotenuse under root 1 minus y square by 4 okay so this will be under root 1 minus y square by 4 is equal to cosine alpha again i am going with the flow xy by 2 plus under root 1 minus x square uh, over here i'll cross multiply 4 minus y square and under root 4 will be 2 so this will be equal to cos alpha that's it. I just cross multiplied 4 and given it the root sign. Now I don't like the uh, denominator. So I will say xy plus under root 1 minus x square under root 4 minus y square equal to twice of cos alpha. Right. Then I will put xy on some other side and this will be 2 cos alpha minus xy. Now let me square both sides. Okay, now it helps for our question because roots will be gone. So left side roots will be gone and the sum will become super smooth. 1 minus x square and 4 minus y square equals what? Let us see. Uh, 2 cos alpha will become 4 cos square alpha minus 2ab. So it will be 2 into 2 cos alpha into xy. So minus 4 into xy into cos alpha and then xy the whole square so it will be x square y square okay now the only task that is remaining at hand is expand the left hand side it will be 4 minus y square minus 4x square plus x square y square equals 4 cos square alpha minus 4xy cos alpha plus x square y square 
Now let us have a pen, red pen for cancellation, my favorite, x square y square got cancelled and that's it. Now how will we proceed? We will put this on the right hand side and this on the right hand side and this on the left hand side. 4 minus 4 cos square alpha. Why am I doing so? Because it is helping our case. Minus 4x square will become 4x square, minus 4xy cos alpha and minus y square will become y square. So over here 4 taken common, 1 minus cos square alpha. And what is this? Let us check what they had asked 4x square minus 4xy cos alpha plus y square. Exactly the same thing which they had asked us. So let me call this q, q for question. And 1 minus cos square alpha is sin square alpha. So this will be 4 sin square alpha. So the answer to this question is 4 sin square alpha. Let us see the options. Option number C is telling with the question. So again I am telling whenever you are dealing with inverse trigonometry functions just do not get scared. Call them theta 1, theta 2. Expand as per your convenience. Make the triangles be good with the hypotenuse and Pythagoras properties and the rest is very very easy. Inverse trigonometry is nothing new. I hope you liked this approach of solving this particular question. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to our channel Solution to Blackbook. This is Amul Mure saying bye bye to you.